In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing a square root function, problem type 2. We're given the function f of x equals the square root of x plus 2 plus 7, and to graph we're asked to find four points on the graph of the function, the leftmost point, and three additional points. So to find these I'm going to create a table, and to determine the x values that I'll be substituting in, I'm going to look underneath the radical, which here is x plus 2, and first to find the leftmost point, that would be where the x plus 2 equals 0, since 0 is the smallest number that we can take the square root of. And solving for x, that would mean an x value of negative 2, so that will be my first coordinate. And then since the x plus 2 is under the radical, for my other points, the calculations will be easier if that x plus 2 is a perfect square. For example, 1. And this would happen, again solving for x, when x equals negative 1. So that's a second point that I can find. Another perfect square would be when that x plus 2 equals 4, happening whenever x equals 2. And then since we need a total of four points, I'll use one more perfect square. I'll find out where x plus 2 equals the next perfect square, which is 9, and that happens when x equals 7. So now that I've identified my x values, I can substitute each one in to f of x to find the corresponding y values. Starting with negative 2, f of negative 2 would be the square root of negative 2 plus 2 plus 7, and inside the radical this would be a 0, and since the square root of 0 is 0, then our y value would just be 7. So we have the coordinate negative 2, 7, and we can repeat the substitution for the other x values, so I'll move to negative 1. f of negative 1 would be the square root of negative 1 plus 2 plus 7, and here the radical will simplify to the square root of 1 plus 7, which is just 1 plus 7, or 8, so we have our second coordinate, negative 1, 8. Moving to the next x value, we have f of 2, which would be the square root of 2 plus 2, simplifying to the square root of 4 plus 7 would give us a 2 plus 7, or 9, so we have the coordinate 2, 9, and then lastly for 7, f of 7, replacing the x with 7, would give us the square root of 9 plus 7, or 3 plus 7, which is 10. So our coordinate 7, 10 would be here, and we notice that for each one of these four examples, the way that I chose my x values gave me perfect squares under the radical which allowed me to have non-decimal y values, and when graphing, the dots would be connected to form this curve.